Are you a practical Brexiter or an in principle Brexiter? You may not be a Brexit supporter at all, but you could still be interested in the classification. My name is Mike Cashman. There are more videos like this on the channel, Britannia Waves the Rules. Please subscribe if you're interested. So are you a practical Brexiter or an in principle Brexiter? I'm just seeking to reflect the reasons that some people voted for Brexit. So, for example, if you're a lorry driver who reckoned that if we exclude EU drivers from Britain or make it more difficult for them to come here, then there'll be a shortage of lorry drivers, your wages will go up as a result, then you've got quantifiable and rational reasons for voting for Brexit. You may have voted for Brexit for those reasons and may feel that you've gained as a result. The in principle Brexiters, on the other hand, are those who, for example, said to me, Brexit is not an economic project, so whether it's good or bad for the economy, for example, is irrelevant. Um, maybe you'd say that you're a values-based Brexiter or an emotional Brexiter or a patriotic Brexiter. Uh, I mean, you choose. I'm not seeking to label. I'm just seeking to make a distinction. I'm not using these terms for any reason other than to understand the difference which Brexiters have themselves made. So for a practical Brexiter, the process and the follow through is important. Benefits of Brexit are expected and sought. Um, I read a detailed account before the referendum from a practical Brexiter from the Adam Smith Institute giving reasons for uh, his preferred Brexit, which in that case involved staying in the single market and the customs union. Uh, as I say, it was very practical and well argued. But for an in-principle Brexiter, benefits are irrelevant. It's not the process, but the event that was important. This was a British, or possibly an English, victory comparable to Waterloo, Agincourt or D-Day. Brexit was won. The Remainers and the EU were defeated. The on-principle Brexiters started trying to appeal to the practical Brexiters uh, with we hold all the cards, we st will still have access to the single market, um, but abandoned that actually during the referendum process. The in principle, Brexiters view themselves as the pioneers that make the victory. Uh, others can do the boring bit of consolidation. Uh, they're the, the settlers. Uh, and if you try and have a discussion with an in principle Brexiter, imagining that they're a practical Brexiter, then it will not get you anywhere. So that's why we hear so often from in principle Brexiters that we shouldn't be talking about Brexit anymore. The victory's been gained, so don't question it. Uh, that's why we hear some Brexit supporters saying, give it time, kick it into the long grass, and who knows what might come along to distract. That's why the Northern Ireland Protocol is so problematical. It was rushed through on the basis of any deal will do as a means to an end of the victory, never mind the practical implications. That's why Boris Johnson thinks that Brexit is some victory akin to Ukraine's struggle for freedom. That's why the reaction to any expectation for benefits of Brexit is just that, a reaction. It's not pre-planned. Boris Johnson, for example, considers that he won the referendum, that he won Brexit. He won the war against the EU and the Remainers, but he has no interest in winning the peace. All he wants to do is to win the Brexit war again. And this is actually what triggered my song Brexitian Fantasy. Um, <laughs> Adler Hanlon made this video, which he said, look, by all means, have your Brexit fantasy. You know, we in Ireland have had fan fantasies for centuries. Um, who are we to deny you your fantasies? Um, but just don't involve us in them. Um, and that's why the song Brexitian Fantasy came about, which I wrote in early June 2016, was shared hundreds of times on social media. And let's hear Lucia de Piva Kinch singing it now. Brexit and fantasy for the in principle Brexiters. Is this the real thing? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a farage, escape from reality. Just a 
currency just dive Brexit We were getting there But then we went and throw it all away Britain Ooh Didn't mean to make you cry If we're not to float again Too late, we blew it all, sent shivers down my spine, there's bars on the line, goodbye economy, now got to go. To leave you all behind and face the truth Britain Ooh. Did we want to go? I sometimes wish no referendum at all I see a little fantasy of a plan, Boris J, Boris J, did you have a plan, Dango? Fantasy financial, very insubstantial. Nigel Farage, Nigel Farage, in procession, in procession. Nigel Farage did the damage. In the poor state, not much we're earning. They're just in a poor state, took the wrong turning. So I never let them back into this EC. Oh, we voted out back then. Will you let us in again? No. Let you in. Let us in. Oh, please, no, we will not let you in. Let us in. Just once, no, we will not let you in. Let us in. We will not let you in. Let us in. Let us in. Never, never let you in. No, 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 no. Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me in. For is Farage has no plan put aside for me. You have